You're still watching Ways Now. World Hypnotism Day is an annual observance celebrated on the uh, 4th of January every year. Getting connected to the subconscious mind is often referred to as hypnotism. It is a term for both the stage, uh, for both the stage, um, these magicians and uh, psychologists. There are lots of misconceptions about fearful perceptions found about hypnotism. But if you have gone through some mind training programs like I have, you would know that hypnosis is used by most leaders, especially I... pastors. <laughs> <laughs> If I was given the opportunity to hypnotize someone today, I will hypnotize the government of Nigeria so that they will give us good governance. <laughs> that is what I would have done. But you know, um, I'm happy about the guest that we have. I'm mm. sure she will, she will chip in a little bit on hypnosis. But tell me, do you have any story about hypnosis? No, I do not. My story is unrelated to hypnosis. No, no, no. I'm no. saying that any encounter, have you ever ha um, heard anything about hypnosis and what's your perception about hypnosis? Well, you know how you said that you've done a lot of research on it and you've studied on mine. I haven't. So I'll just rather leave it to you. <laughs> you rather leave it. But it's an interesting conversation. I I'll well, ask my guest. Not, you know, back in the days, they used to say they yeah, dangle that thing in front, in front of, of you and you go... Ooh. There's something they call hypnotic language. It's so powerful. Exactly. You know, it's it so powerful. It actually trains your mind. Oh, yes, it does. It it's does. for the mind. All right, so tell me, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so um, my story is about Lagos State reacting to the second wave of COVID, mm -hmm. uh, postponing resumption in schools indefinitely. And another thing that the state has done is also saying that public servants who are on grade 14 and below are to resume on January 18th. Uh, that's, that's, this is fourth, so that's a few weeks from now. And another thing is, yes, we usually have, uh, the state usually has the annual first work day prayer, and that used to be physical. But today, the annual first workday prayer was done virtually. So this is just Lagos State reacting to, you know, the COVID, COVID pandemic. And I think that they're really taking bold steps to make sure that this virus doesn't spread further. And um, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, <laughs> if I may step in there, schools haven't resumed, yes, very true. Now they've decided to do online teaching again. Mm. So they're taking online again for their students and it's supposed to, st for my school, they're supposed to start next week. I don't know about other schools. Some schools have started the online training. Mm. So what I think a lot of Lagos schools did was to start the virtual classes mm. so that they do not have too much um, things Backlogs. lagging back backlog exactly. you know lagging behind so what they've done is they are starting the conversation i mean the the, 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 the learning term. online then after two weeks when they propose resumption they now move to the physical, physical school physical. so i think it's, a, it's also innovative for them absolutely. to do that yeah absolutely yeah what's your story you see okay my story is um centered on uh, pdp and apc and I, I think I'm tired of um, the government trying to, you know, um, juxtapose both pa parties and, you know, put them in front of us and tell them, tell us that they are, they are God's gift to us, you know. So this is my reaction to Nigerians will not welcome PDP, the University of Lies, in 2023. And this was spoken by or written by Garba Sheu, who is a senior special assistant to the president. Some, the thing that actually caught my attention here was when he said it is hard to ignore the shameful and disgraceful claims by the oppositions. We are tired of the government or the um, political class, you know, um, putting us together to, you know, hit our heads. We, all we want is good governance. All we want is to stop promoting diversity. Mm. All we want, we want a situation whereby the masses will be able to walk along the streets without being scared. You are able to travel from Kassina to Kafanchan or wherever you're going to without being kidnapped. Is it, is it so difficult to ask? Is it so difficult? It's not about party. We want a, one Nigeria, just, a unified system where everything works. I just hope um, that Nigerians understand that these people are actually not enemies. 
<laughs> behind Precisely. closed behind closed doors but they try to pre they try to make us feel like they are enemies but they're not enemies behind cl closed doors so i hope we're wise enough to see that so my story is quite interesting because there's been a lot of opera you know in the in the um, online people condemning the act of um, the Cardinal State governor mm. that went um they, dem they demolished a building mm. so um i just saw it now that the federal government right backs demolition of the Cardinal um, sex party house says um, uh, says sex tourism is um, is not a Nigerian culture. Federal government backs the demolition. Now the federal government, through the director general, National Council of Arts and Culture, Otumba Shegun, has expressed support for the demolition of the house slated as venue for sex for a sex party in Kaduna. The house located in Sabotasha. That's um, it's around the southern part of Kaduna on the outskirts of Kaduna Metropolis was demolished by the Kaduna State Urban Planning Development Agency on the orders of Governor Nasiru El Rufai, who was miffed at, um, at the public show of disrespect for Nigerian culture and total disregard for um, public to public good. So this story has caused a lot of conversations online. First of all, um, the owner of this restaurant, I can't remember her name now, has come out to say that she is not aware that there was going to be any party of such in her restaurant. Mm. That's number one. Number two, the flyer that, pro that promoted this um, alleged sex party that was supposed to hold never had a venue on that flyer. It was just a phone number. Mm. And when they eventually found the person, because they had to trace, she had to pay the police. Mm. to trace the person they arrested the person the person said he was only joking and there was no such such thing because she never they never contacted her and they said okay no problem only for her to now get there there was no prior notice nothing they just demolished and i hear that she was pregnant she was a month pregnant oh so she lost her pregnancy lost a lot of things in that building mm -hmm. and people are calling out the Kaduna state government that this is almost like jungle justice because exactly. there was no um, Par notice not only that you're before you to be able to carry out a demolition you're supposed to come with a court order to exactly. say this building There's has no been marked for demolition exactly right and you have to even give them appropriate notice to be able to clear out their things mm -hmm. but none of those due processes were followed so i am so shocked you know that the federal mm -hmm. government will just come out and back, and back it up back up something that was illegal hmm. right i just i don't know how far we would take some of these things that the government hmm. throws at us as a, as a country honestly it's hmm. really sad but well, sadly we don't really even have so much time but tell me you are a lawyer now when you want to demolish something are you not supposed to go with a court um injunction or whatever the terminologies you lawyers call it tell me are you there can hear her. Oh, I can't hear you. Are you muted? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, great. I said I agree with you that they took laws into their own hands. And it is not fair that, you know, we look to the government for, you know, to enforce laws. We look to the government to help us enforce laws. So it's not fair that the government is not the one, is the one that took this kind of action. This, this is not fair. This, this is not fair. I, I think that person should seek redress. I, I believe that she's already seeking redress in court. Yeah, she, she will. Seek redress in court. That's she will. Court she's actually um, taking the matter. And to this story, hmm. I was just going to pitching that. It's just funny. I read that news and I saw, you know, the current government talking about what the past government had done and just try to show that they had done much better and try to bring the weaknesses of the past government and it was just <laughs> it was just funny because neither this one nor the other one is doing very well or has done very well. So they were talking about how that in 16 years, PDP didn't do this, PDP didn't do that, and this current government is taking over to fight corruption and so on and so mm. forth. But it's just not fair that we are now looking for which is better when we're supposed to be pointing to which is doing well and which is performing up to expectation, that we're now fighting one another based on who is doing well. <laughs> it's it's not cool that to, that's how politics yeah, It's just like you're evil. giving it's me... It's not lesser evil. That, yeah, it's a matter you, of lesser evil. Yeah, exactly. Let's leave the matter. That one not concern us. We want to talk about how to Political develop... Political propaganda. See, in Nigeria, in case you do not know, <laughs> no government is going to help you to grow. No government is going to give you the enabling environment. You have to empower yourself. 
And to empower yourself, you need knowledge and you need to continue to develop yourself. So that's why we're talking personal development today. We're not just talking it because we feel like talking it. We're starting the new year. So everybody must understand what you, what you must put in place, you know, for yourself so you mm -hmm. can grow. Even amidst all of these things. Political all right? propaganda. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right.